TikTok is very funny. <laughs> but it can also become a bit controversial. Oh. Even though this platform is so fun, however, sometimes you see many conflicts due to negative comments. That's why today I'm going to talk about the controversy of Charlie D'Amelio and Ellie Zeller. Oh my god! For those who are not familiar with Ellie, this girl is a TikToker with more than 5 million followers. Who, by the way, she looks so similar to Charlie. And that is why she has become known so quickly. Both Charlie and Ellie have interacted before, commenting on how similar they both look. But a situation arose that seems to have gotten a little out of control. Oh my god. Because of some comments, people have accused Ellie of copying Charlie. And Ellie has responded to the accusation several times by clarifying that it's not true and that there's no imitation in the matter. After TikTok users thought she was criticizing Charlie in a comment. It all started because the user commented on a video of Ellie indicating that Charlie was better than her. Hmm when supposedly he wrote Charlie with a heart eye emoji and then Ellie commented and wrote, who is that? When the fans noticed Ellie's comment, they quickly became angry and thought she was pretending not to know Charlie and pretending that Charlie is not that important. After this, Ellie clarified that the comment was taken out of the context and expressed that when she wrote who is that comment, she was not referring to Charlie but was referring to the user who made that comment. Which, by the way, according to what Ellie said, this guy was making fun of her too. Ellie took advantage of a TikTok live and made it clear that she was talking about the boy who made the comment and not Charlie. That like, I don't like to start things. Um, and so Ryan like started this with me and so of course I'm gonna defend myself. And so I said, or who, who is that? I said, who is that? talking about Ryan. I was not talking about Charlie. In an interview, Charlie took the opportunity to talk a little bit about this drama after she was asked about the situation. Charlie said that sometimes she's compared to Dixie and sometimes Dixie is compared to her. And that is because she has the same hair color, brown eyes, and that for her, there's nothing wrong with that. So we can see that it maybe was all a misunderstanding of a message. For now, according to what this girl has reported, there's no situation between them. Do you think that Ella really wants to imitate Charlie? Let me know what you think about. Leave your comment down below. It seems that Charlie has involved in a lot of controversy lately. After Charlie, Amelia, and Chase Hudson broke up, there were many rumors about what the relationship had ended. However, the fans saw that they did a TikTok dance together, so many thought that they were still friends. But something unexpected happened. While it seemed that Charlie and Chase were trying to be very friendly about their breakup, but a comment on Twitter changed everything. Really? The controversy began when Chase realized that some of his friends or ex-friends were making sarcastic comments about him. Chase became uncomfortable with this whole situation and confessed that it was true that he kissed Nessa, but he made it clear that when he did it, he was not with Charlie and clearly mentioned that he talked to Charlie and apologized for what happened. It seems that Chase was very angry and used the opportunity and besides confessing what he did, he talked on Twitter about the cheating of all his ex-friends, defending himself that he was not the only one who made a mistake with his girlfriend. After all of this, social media was filled with negative comments towards Chase and Nessa. Charlie was seeing all of this. She felt angry and complained to Chase telling him to stop playing the victim and also told him that he should have told her about the kiss much sooner. Because of this whole scandal, the internet was filled with strong comments about Chase and Nessa letting these youngsters know what they did very badly. It seems that Charlie felt very bad about everything that was happening and ended up doing an Instagram live talking about all of this drama and made a plea to her followers to leave Nessa and Chase alone. Charlie said the drama that happened the last few days was handled in a completely immature way, including myself. It shouldn't have happened on the internet and it breaks my heart to see that people love being rejected. I felt bad, I felt betrayed, so I did something to feel better, but I know it wasn't the right thing to do 
and I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. I don't want to make excuses, but I'll let my fingers do that on Twitter, which is something that I never wanted to do because that's not who I am. I never come in here and show my true emotions. It's just that you need to know that it's never okay to tell someone negative things. It's never okay to make fun of people for making a mistake. These were some of Charlie's expressions on the live. Charlie also took the opportunity to apologize to Nessa for all of the negative things they were saying to her and also apologize to Chase. Charlie said in the live that she's very sorry that Chase is receiving those comments and that, that he doesn't deserve to be told those things. Something that surprised the fans was that Charlie in the live said that Chase will always have a very special place in her heart. And she mentioned that she still loves Chase, no matter what has happened. Let me know in the comments down below. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Bye!